elsewhere, Justin Muturi and Rebecca Miano, have taken over office as Attorney General and Cabinet Secretary for the East African Community, Assaults and Regional Development, respectively. This comes a day after they were sworn in at State House in Nairobi in a ceremony presided over by President William Ruto, who advised his Cabinet members to focus on service delivery. Citizen TV's Ayub Abdikadir reports. Aye. A day after his swearing in as the Attorney General following his approval by Parliament, former National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi has taken over from Paul Kihara Karaoke. Muturi pledged to continue with the foundation laid by his predecessor, Kihara Karaoke. Kazi ya sheria inaendelea kila wakati. <coughs> Kuna mambo zingine, watu wanakuja kusajiri makamponi, wengine wanaenda kuoana, wengine watakuja kufanya kusajili wa mambo mbalimbali. Kwa hivyo hizo itakuwa ikiendelea. Muturi, who becomes the eighth attorney general, said among his plans are cases against the government, promising to work with the team at Sharia House to improve service delivery. There we will be continuing with the work, and uh, <coughs> together with um, these um, good people, we will uh, see where it is that we need to up our game in a bid to improve service delivery. We are serving the, the people of Kenya and the government. The Attorney General's tenure of office follows the cycle of the general election. According to Section 12 of the Office of the Attorney General Act, the qualifications for appointment as Attorney General are the same as those of the appointment to the Office of the Chief Justice under Article 156 of the Constitution. Moturi, who was the first speaker of the National Assembly following the promulgation of the Constitution, will become the principal legal advisor to the president. Elsewhere, Rebecca Miano, the cabinet secretary for East African Community, Arid and Semi-Arid Lands and Regional Development, immediately after taking over, promised to emulate her predecessor, Betty Maina, in working to bolster relations with other members of this African community. I shall pick up from where you have left to develop our nation and the region to higher transformational levels. Miano during her address also took note of the current drought situation in the country, which is having a toll on thousands of Kenyans. I'm cognizant, like you have said, of the difficult situation that this country is facing in view of the prolonged drought, which impacts negatively on communities in the arid and semi-arid areas. The 22 cabinet secretaries, the attorney general and the secretary to the cabinet take charge at a time when the country is facing mounting economic challenges with the president calling on his team to prioritize service delivery. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, Nairobi.